Among the more commonly used formulas in geometry are the formulas for area of a rectangle and area of a triangle. Here are a couple of examples that show us using these formulas. The area of a rectangle formula is area equals length times width. But which is the length and which is the width? I'm going to call this 8 my length and the 4 my width. But if a student chose to call the 4 the length and the 8 the width, it wouldn't matter. And we also commonly see the terminology base and height used with the rectangle. Because of the structure of the formula, this doesn't matter very much. I'll fill it in. Area here equals length 8 times width 4, which is 32, and my unit has to be squared. No unit was given in the question, so I'll just use the word units as my unit and make sure that I point out the units are squared. If I had used the 4 as the length and the 8 as the width, I would have been doing 4 times 8, and I still would have gotten 32. And this is why it doesn't matter which is which when you are using terminology for your rectangle. Base times height would still also give 8 times 4, or 4 times 8, and an answer of 32 units squared. In the triangle, we have base times height over 2 to give us our area. The base, I'm going to say the 10 is the base, and the 3 is the height. But we are in a similar situation in that if someone said the 3 was the base and the 10 was the height, the formula would still work. We have base 10 times height 3 over 2, which gives 10 times 3 over 2, 30 over 2, which gives an answer of 15 units squared. If I had inverted the base and the height, I would have had 3 times 10, I still would have had 30 divided by 2, and my answer would still have been 15. In this problem, we are again finding the area of a triangle. We still need our base times height over 2, but we have to be careful. The base can be said to be this side 9 in length, but this is not the height, this is not the height. A height has to go straight up perpendicularly from the base. So we have been given the information with a little dotted line that we have a height of 4. And we can fill in our formula. Area equals 9 times 4 over 2, which is 36 over 2, which is 18. And again, the unit is units squared. Be careful when using the area of a triangle formula because it requires the base and the height. And that involves two measures which have to be perpendicular from each other.